if you want to download Blender, go to your browser, Blender, and click on Blender.org. Click to where it says it has a cloud picture and Blender 2.m6, and download either the zip file or the M .msi file, 64-bit or 32-bit. Hey guys, GamerSucks here, and today we're going to be doing a video on how to make a Blender intro, Blender intro, not Blender intro template, but if you want to copy this and do if you want to. So when you load up of what I just said, downloading it, it'll come up with this. Just click on the outer side and you'll get this screen. If you want to know how I'm moving about, I press the middle mouse button, which you might use to scroll up or down, or if you hold it down, it moves around. So, if you double tap A, and then the D, the delete, no, delete the delbit, and press enter, it deletes everything. So we can bring up this menu. First, we'll have to go onto cycles render, so we can do this. And then we'll put the frame rate to 30. Put this to H264. Go here to presets and it says format. Go to MP4 and MP3. By the way, before this, I'll start, I'll do this bit and then I'll tell it shows intro. And then it says fill, press transparent. So now I will show you the final product. So yeah that's it, so we're just going to get on with it. So first we have to make a camera, so we get the camera, it's facing downwards. So you have to press Alt and R to make it go down, then drag it across with RX90 and then after that we'll start to make the text so we'll go this text RX90 and there we'll put it in the middle we'll set the origin to geometry so if you want to know how I'm adding the text you press shift A and it'll come with mesh curve I'll, I'll tell you how to add spirals um, uh, you know this bit, this are empty for like which we'll be using in the next video and lamps which we won't need at all. So when you've got the text, if you put it in the exact middle about there, you'll see if you press F12 it renders it but it's got no colour. So what we have to do is we have to add the um, light room but before that we're going to go and get the font. I personally use GoGo -Go Post the punch because it gives it a nice look and we'll just put for their name. So now the thing is now it's 2D. So if you wanted to do it like I do I'd move it back a bit and put for the extrude which is on the fonts bit 0 0.138 and for depth 0 0.009 so it gives it a nice look and then for the resolution 10 so that's going to be the inner text so we're going to go shift d and left click and go down two on there and extrude it to about 1.45 maybe a bit more and no there we go 1.6 so keep it at 1.6 so this is going to be the outer bit, so what we'll do is we'll just click that bit, which is the materials file, I'm sorry if I'm going a bit too fast for you, so we'll click this bit here, then we'll go to where it says this, and this, and zero material, and it'll say use nodes, so we'll click on the node, where it says surface, it says diffuse that is roughly what it normally is. So we'll go on it, click it, and it says mix shader. And then we will add the shaders, which is going to be glossy and glossy. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a green 
we're gonna bring that up like that this down like this and this around there so it's got a nice vibrant colour so what we're gonna do is instead of that we're gonna point to 0.20 and then 0.20 again and for so this colour we're going to add a yellow we're gonna add all them two together so then it looks like like a weird green but you can just see it's really dark and dull so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go here and we're going to press shift A and make a plane so what we're going to do with this plane is we're going to go RX90 drag it all the way back to about roughly on the outside of this grid and we're going to click the cube and we're going to stretch this out upwards to about 2 and we're going to stretch this out until it gets to each side so that's about there so we'll put roughly about eight after that we'll, we'll put this to actually to about 1.5 so then we've got the back bit of the light room you press shift d and bring it up so it's like that so then we've got two bits of the light room and then before we do everything, so then if we copy it, if you just press camera, turn it off so you can't see it in the camera, so when I render it, it won't show anything in the background. And then you click it, and go new, and go mix shader again, and go emission, and put the strength to 2, and 2. And we'll make this one a bit of a yellowy colour. And, and it gives it a little bit of light if you could see around the back, but not anything at the front. And we'll just shift D again, and we'll bring this to about there. And we'll do this again with that. And we'll do this. I'm just going to show you this. If you want to do this like I'm doing, you can. But I'll save this after I've done the video. So look, it's added a little more colour to it, if you see. So what we're going to do is with this, we're going to change the green a bit, so it's a little bit uh, more that colour, and this yellow is a bit like an orange mix between. So there, so then it gives it a nice yellow look. And then after this, because we need to have it to the side, we're going to shift D again. Bring it into the middle line and put on the Z axis, I think it is 90. And bring this to about there. And shift D again and raise it up so it's roughly around there. And shift D will do again. So it goes on the outer layer of this. And then we'll do it once more until we get a box shape. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's made it look a really nice colour. So, all we now need to do is, as we're going to shift this again, raise it up. So, we've got one here. And shift D again, bring it forward, and put it to about 35 degrees. And um, put this above that about in the middle actually and we'll get this shifty roll that over this, this side and shifty take this over here minus 35 and then we're pretty much nearly sorted with the light room so what it looks like is it's made it have a nice yellow but if you click on this solid bit to render you'll notice that the sides look very plain and we don't want it to be plain we want it to be a nice colour so I'll just quickly finish the light room and we'll be back in a sec so we are back guys and I've finished the light room it's not that good actually some other ones but it's made it have
have a really nice vibrant yellow but the thing is they're getting in the way of it so what we're going to do is we're going to shrink that bit down for a second and you'll see all these planes what you do is on that eye you click every single one but I will have done this for you because when you down I'll give you a download file so it just means you can just get everything really simply so we've done that so we've done the yellowy bit so when I need to do the silver bit which is the easier bit so what we do is we now do mixed shader and we both put them back to glossy oh, that's not the glossy one there we go what we do is we put this back to 0 by 20 we place one to zero point seven five, and this one will put about point four five six. But we we'll stretch out this bit to make it a nice light colour. And then this one will go for point one one zero. So there you go. We've got a nice looking silver. So if we go render, rendered. It looks really nice. It, we might not be able to see the planes, but if we add them, it makes it look a bit nicer. So what we're going to do is we're going to add all the planes back. We're going to change one thing to it to make it a bit different. So, oops. Nearly got all of them. So we've got all of them. So we're not that really that bothered about the V here. It just gives it a nice looking yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on every plane and add modifier and wireframe. So we can look through it, but we can. We won't be able. It'll be a bit easier to do. So whilst I'm talking, it's going to be a chilling intro. I'm not going to make it like fussy bouncy. It's going to be pretty like calm. It's going to have a bit of uh, movement. I've got a song which I could use. It's got a bit a good bass. So yeah. So what we're going to do is just oh wrong one wireframe wireframe it just looks like a lot of wireframe to you but it just makes it so much easier and this is with cycles render so I will do one with blender render which is the one which is a bit different and it's a lot quicker rendering so it all I'm gonna all I'm gonna give you on that pack is going to be this bit, the, the wire frame for the white house, white room, the camera, the text, that's all I'm going to give you. So, yeah, so now it looks a bit different. So we're just going to take these two down that and it gives it a nice bit of yellow. I don't even think I actually had to add the wireframe. I will just take out the wireframe from the side. I'm not that good at making light rooms, it's just really complicated. So then, there we go. It's been fixed now. Sorry, don't boom, it's fixed. So, at this time we're just gonna save as and put onto our desktop and say intro for tutorial. So and then we're gonna save it. So that was it for today's video. So I will see you guys next time. Peace!